Hello, Pastor David here again, and it's time for the children's message. So if you have children or youth nearby who aren't already watching this video, now's a great time to call them over. Got some things I, I think they'll be interested to, to see. Now, I, for some reason, have a lot of hats. I guess maybe it's to sort of cover up my head. I don't have a whole lot on top, but I somehow have ended up with a lot of hats, hats from all over the world. And I like my hats, but one thing I've noticed is that each hat seems to have its own particular purpose and usefulness. So I brought a few hats just to show you. For example, um, this is a, a hard hat, and this is actually from El Salvador in Central America. I worked on a construction project there one time some years ago with Habitat for Humanity of El Salvador building houses for the poor, and they had us wear these hats, and I brought mine back, and it's, it's a hard hat. See, I didn't even feel that. If I had a baseball bat, I could hit myself upside the head and I wouldn't know because I've got a hard hat on. So we see pretty quickly what the usefulness is of this hat. Then I've got uh, this hat, which I, I believe I picked up in Haiti down in the Caribbean. And it's a handmade uh, hat made out of straw. And it is great for keeping the sun off the top of my head, but it's also very cool and comfortable if I'm there when the weather's really hot. So now it's not a hard hat, so I can't beat myself over the head with it, but um, it's a lot cooler to wear than the hard hat was, uh, you know, if I'm there in the heat of summer. So re remember what I said about each hat has its own particular use. All right. And then we've got, uh, uh, oh, got this one. This is my United Methodist cap, and it has the Methodist cross and flame on it. So I wear this hat anytime I want to make sure that everybody knows I'm a Methodist. And they can always tell if they know what the cross and flame symbol represents, then they'll say, Hey, look at that hat that guy's wearing. He must be a Methodist. And then one more hat, and this is one of my favorites. This hat is from England, and it's called a deerstalker, or sometimes called a Sherlock Holmes hat. And it looks kind of funny, but it's actually made for guys to wear when they go hunting, and they can go through thick brush and not knock their hat off because you don't have a brim that's sticking out. It also has another advantage, like if I'm walking this way and I want to turn around and walk the other way, see how slick that was and easy? Yeah, so this hat also has its particular uses and I just think it makes me look really smart. What do you think? Ah, I see some heads nodding. Good, I'm glad you feel that way. Well, we are like my hat collection in that each of us is different. Each of us has our own gifts and talents. We aren't all the same. God made each of us different and special and unique in some way. Not everyone is good at doing the same things, but each of us has a special place in the church, and in the family of God. Each of you is important. You discover your gifts, discover what you're good at, and you will also discover that God has a need for that talent, a place for you. Someone may be good at music. Someone else is good at building things. Still others are good at encouraging other people. And others still are good at cooking. Someone else may be a good reader, and another is good at math. We're all different, but we all have a place in the family of God. Let's pray. 
Lord God, we thank you for the children and youth of our church and community and their families. We thank you for all those watching this video today and their families. And we just pray your blessings on them. Help us, O oh Lord, to realize our uniqueness and the importance of our uniqueness in your church and in your kingdom. Help us to find our place so that we can give of our best in serving you to make the world a better place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.